All right, here we go. Uh, super excited to have another guest here in our community, Aaron Darling. All right, Aaron. Yeah. Super excited <laughs> to have you here. Yeah. Uh, as we were talking off the air, we'll say, mm -hmm. um, just getting to learn more about you. We've met before as we first moved to Cottleville, so we're super excited to have you back and just get to really learn a little bit more about you. Um, our whole goal here is to just continue to give people in our community uh, exposure to other people in our community, yes. whether they're business owners, professionals, whatever it might be. Uh, so we're grateful to have you here today and really just want to start out with, tell us a little bit of your background. Where'd you come from? Where'd you grow up? All those kinds of things. And just kind of lead us to a little bit of, of how you really got here today. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for having me. This yeah. is exciting. So I grew up in Maryland Heights. So just across sure. the bridge, mm -hmm. went to Pattonville High there School. Everybody <laughs> wants to know that uh, question. And I actually married uh, my husband and I went to the same high school. Aww, so with the last name like Darling, I always joke yeah. like, <laughs> like I... What a fun name to end up with. Yeah, I had classes with him senior year finally and just loved to say it. Mm -hmm. Hi Nick Darling. I would say it all the time. <laughs> and then we both went to Mizzou and um, dated right at the end of Mizzou. Just yeah. kind of happened to. So, so yeah, I live um, in St. Peter's St. Charles area now, mm -hmm. and I have two daughters, Aww. and one is almost 13, okay. oh my goodness, which funny. is a special time, yeah. <laughs> and my other daughter will be 10 this summer, but they are great girls, just yeah. super different, so, um, but um, where I am today, um, I grew up, you know, close by, like I said, yeah, and yeah. Um, just was actually um, a super artistic kid, so I am a former art teacher. Oh, and cool. so I was really into art, not so much into movement or yeah. health. Mm -hmm. So probably by about second grade, I was r really heavy and pretty unhealthy mm. um, and really relied on food for comfort and connection mm. and created a really deep relationship and um, just uh, food was just on a, a pedestal for me mm -hmm. um, when I was really young. Mm -hmm. And so um, by the time I was about eighth grade, um, I kind of figured out that I wanted to be healthier. I mean, I knew it way before that, mm -hmm. but um, started eating different and working out with one of my brothers and I lost a lot of weight yeah. and I got a lot of attention and then I did all the wrong things for a long time and under eight. So mm. I just kind of had this lifetime of not a positive relationship with food. Mm -hmm. And so, um, but fast forward to where I am now as a former teacher and then a stay at home mom, mm -hmm. I went back for another master's in nutrition because it really is such a love. Yes, there is this art piece to me, but it's really not my love. I really like educating on food and really helping my clients navigate really what I navigated. I didn't, mm -hmm. you know, kind of long story short, but um, the, how I navigated where I am today mm -hmm. in terms of a healthy relationship with food in my body. There's a big difference between just love and enjoyment and passion. Right. And so, so I sure. totally think I, I get what you're saying there. So you, you went, where'd you go to, where'd you go to school? I went to Mizzou, went, went to Mizzou. and Lindenwood and Logan. So yeah. I went to a few different colleges, but my first, <laughs> very nice. we went to two out of the three same yeah, schools. There we go. <laughs> yeah. 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 So, um, yes, but them. you went to one of them. Yeah. I went to Lindenwood. Yeah. yeah. I loved Lindenwood. Yeah. Um, did too. But Mizzou was, um, yeah, my bachelor's degree. So, Got and it. that was for art education. And yeah. I was an art teacher for seven years. That's what that that was one of my questions on the front end here was because when we were talking before we started here, uh, mm -hmm. you said you had eight years of school. So I was kind of like, hmm, like no what? Wonder, where did that come from? Wonder, yeah. Wonder, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think this is a very, very important topic. Yes. Uh, I think this is very much underserved, underexposed. Uh, under under resourced, and so it's great to have somebody like you, um, kind of with the the temperament and attitude. And you're mm -hmm. you're so uh, just so uplifting, e uplifting and ex Aww, I just thanks. I don't if I don't have an eating problem, it's like I almost want to just create one so I can work <laughs> with you. But I don't think it takes that either. But um, I think it's super super great that you are doing this because even 
not to steal the show here, but even from the student athlete side and the mm-hmm. dancer side, she's mm-hmm. dance coach. Say, Dominic, I see a lot of student athletes, and it's you know sometimes it's not all about performance and what it can lead to. If it is, is like you said, there's an emotional tie. So uh, I think this is just such a great thing, and hopefully people tune in. And if you have any questions, you know we'll get you in touch with Aaron for sure. But so talk to us a little bit about then, you know, what it is you do. Like let's let's say let's unwrap Aaron's Aaron's business and what you love mm-hmm. to do and your passion. What is it, and and, and kind of how do you go about it? Okay, so my business is called Mindset Nutrition, and the mindset piece is super important because I tell people. It's not always about the weight, but more about the weight, you know, pointing Mm -hmm. to my head right now. You know, it's the mental weight um, more than the physical weight. So I work with clients, and since COVID, Mm -hmm. it's kind of exploded because this emotional eating piece has gotten really, really, really big. But I work with clients, you know, my, my ideal person is somebody who has really battled this most of their life. They have been, uh, a chronic dieter. They're Mm -hmm. basically on and off. Food is either good or bad. They're starting over on Monday. They're so hard on themselves. Um, And I basically reteach them Mm -hmm. how to take care of themselves, you know, forever. Not so that they're trying to fit into a certain pair of jeans by Friday. Right. Mm -hmm. So that this just goes on and on. I tell them all the time, Like health and wellness is like walking down a path, Mm -hmm. you know, and I'm visual as a former art teacher. So it's like the yellow brick road. Sometimes you're going to step off of your path. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you're going to have cake at your kid's birthday party or a margarita on Friday and too many chips and salsa. But what you do is you step right back on your path. Like you leave it over there. You leave the guilt and the shame over there because you're not going to be perfect and you're going to make mistakes and then you get right back on your path. So that's a huge thing, and that's a very big mental roadblock we have to work through. Um, but other than that, I'm teaching them how to actually eat. Yeah. So um, I have a lot of men I'm working with lately, <laughs> but it's majority women. Yeah. And women chronically undereat. You know, yeah. they're counting out six almonds. Yeah. They're grabbing a granola bar on the go, and then maybe they won't eat again for the whole rest of the day. Right. Um, I had a client say, She's like, and then I come home and get all frat boy on my food, you know, because they're just not, (laughs) yeah, (laughs) yeah. because they're just not stopping and they're not like fueling themselves. So I teach them how to build a plate that's going to last for like anywhere from three to six or more hours, you know, so that they can just keep going with their life, whether they are running a business or Mm -hmm. running a household or whatever they're doing. They don't have to be constantly throwing snacks in their bag Mm -hmm. and just fueling themselves constantly. If we're eating what we need, the cravings reduce. Mm -hmm. We don't have our food brain isn't going all the time. Mm -hmm. We just, we're just fueling our body with what it needs. And, Mm -hmm. and that's also like the ultimate self-love, you know, like taking the time to stop and feed themselves. And I hear all the time, well, I just eat such and such because it's quick and I can get it over with. Mm -hmm. And I'll say, well, what's the hurry? Well, there isn't one, you Mm -hmm. know, I don't know. I'm retired and there isn't one, but, but yet I still eat like that. Like there's, there's, I'm not going to do anything to, to, you know, take time for myself. So Mm -hmm. it's just relearning the, the thoughts and learning how to eat long term Mm -hmm. and then repeat, you know, and building that accountability. I think that's so much. We had we had this conversation on a topic that was so different, but you can find similarities. Um, but I, I was thinking about this, and you just said it too, and it came to me. It's like time. I don't have time. It's yeah. time, time, time. And it's like, hang on. I literally just told her this. Yes. I'm sick of using time as a crutch. But what I'm finding now and hearing you talk about this and, again, being underserved, under-resourced, mm-hmm. it's like it's a lot of times it's not that we don't have time. It's that we don't have the resource. Right. Because we, so we don't know what to do. So then all of a sudden the emotional side of it hits. It's like, man, I feel like I should know what to do and I don't, and this is overwhelming and now I don't have time to figure it out. No, you don't have the resource to right. help you. Because if you, like somebody in, in look, look at Aaron right here, sitting in front of us, whatever I am trying to do, whatever you are trying to do, all we have to do is ask, what does it look like to work with you? How right. can I, so- that, that solves a big variable for time yeah. because how many hours have you put in to learn this, Aaron? It's endless. It, it never, I mean, I'm the person on the beach with a thyroid book. Yeah. I mean, you know, I don't, I really, I have 
really struggle to stop because mm-hmm. it's because it is a passion, yeah. because it is fascinating. Mm-hmm. But I'm also encur- yes, I am a resource, but I'm also encouraging th- oh, sorry. Mm-hmm. I'm also encouraging them to also rely on themselves. Yes. You know, like uh-huh. the diet industry is built for repeat customers. What so I do true. is I work with them six weeks every week, then six weeks every other week, and then once a month. I mean, we are spacing out. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm pushing them out of the nest. They don't like that, <laughs> but I'm like, you're not going to be talking to me every week forever. Like right. that's And Can't probably similar reliant. for you. Like right. you want them to get better, mm-hmm. not keep relying on right. me and my coaching and my mm-hmm. affirmations. I want those positive thoughts to come out of their own head mm-hmm. because when they do, they are way more effective coming from their own brain, you right. know? So I'm feeding it, then they have to start repeating it. But what I also help them realize is they also actually know like what they like, yeah. you know, like mm-hmm. I put this on Instagram once, but if you don't think you know what you like or have com- complete control over your food, like try to feed a toddler a piece of bo- a broccoli or something, yeah. you know, a new vegetable that they don't like. And th- you'll see real quick that we have control and we do know what we want, you know? Mm-hmm. So right. we, we put a lot of the blame and excuses on, well, I didn't have time or this was all that was available mm-hmm. or whatever. But if we really start tapping into what we like and what we don't like and what feels good, we actually know way more than we think we do. Right. You know, it's just empowering people to realize like, oh, I can do this. Yeah. You yeah. know, I love everything about what you're saying, because as a dancer growing up, I mean, like that's always been a thing for yeah. The dance community in general, Mm -hmm. Um, huge in studios and everything. Like we're only ordering you this size costume. You got to fit in it. You know those kind of things. It just like gives me like oh I know I know it I know it. Oh wow, I felt that. It's so phenomenal to hear that you deal with these kind of things because I mean I've had the eating disorders. I've had the issues with food and the time excuse of well I'm just gonna buy popcorn for my dorm because it'll fill me up. Yeah. And then I don't have to eat. Yeah. And then it's only 15 calories. Sure. Like, I've had all of those things and all of those thoughts, and I lost the weight in the wrong ways. I mm-hmm. kept the weight off in the wrong ways. Like, and to know that there's a resource other than just your own mind at first telling you, no, it's okay. That's that's going to mm-hmm. be how you do it, and that's fine because you can keep it off that way because you can sustain it. Right. And, like, knowing that... There are people like you out in this world that are here for people, not only girls, because yes, I like yeah. males go through this too, 100%. Like, but knowing that, like, I have somewhere to send maybe my girls because right. I coach a dance team that sure. if I notice, because I know the signs, because I've dealt with that's it a, sure. And that's a great point that I wanted to kind of bring out and announce this to, you know, whomever might be listening, mm-hmm. watching, is. This could be a great opportunity for maybe you don't necessarily have the issue, mm-hmm. so to speak. I think you said it earlier. Everybody has some sort of relationship <laughs> with me. If you want to dive into it, Aaron's a gal to talk to. Mm-hmm. But if you do hold a coaching position or a classroom or if you're in a scenario where this seems to be, Aaron would be somebody to talk to and I think would love to talk to you to be on the lookout for things. But also, too, how mm-hmm. many coaches say, well, you know, you might not want to eat tonight so you can fit in that thing. It's like you right. cannot say that. Mm-hmm. You no, cannot say you cannot. that. But if you start to see these, or maybe you have a, a dancer or an athlete or a, a child, you know, mm-hmm. or a, a friend, a sister, a mother, like that is struggling with something like this, you know, Aaron, if that's something you're passionate about, like let her be the resource to tell you to what to look for mm-hmm. and also be able to be, you know, a resource for that person. Nice I think city. having an idea in, you know, you being able to tell people like, here's some of the keywords, and you kind of said it earlier that people say, oh, yeah look out for this. And then if I can help, here's how I would do that. Yeah, Mm -hmm. absolutely. I mean, we, we do so much damage. Adults Mm -hmm. can do so much damage. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, if I were working with you, like, you know, some of that, that stuff you heard growing up, I mean, some of us are just, a lot of us are living off of this programming from when we were young and we really work together, my clients and I, to break that down. You know, well who told almost on repeat it is. We we, see the person saying Yeah. I'll say, well who told you that? Well Mm -hmm. where did that come from? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well why why do you why do you think you have to order that food because you have a coupon? You know, Mm -hmm. like you know, I mean that sounds silly but these are things, these are messages that were delivered, you know, mm-hmm. when they were young. 
and we're just still repeating it, you right. know, or we didn't have a lot of money growing up. I hear, I hear that a lot. And so I can yeah. buy whatever I want now as food. So I'm going to do it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Right. But you're not that little one anymore. You're not right. that little, mo- you're not little and you, you, yes, you can buy whatever you want mm-hmm. and just remind yourself that. Yeah. Right. So there's no, there's no pressure. You don't have to rush out and get all the food. It's not going anywhere. It's right. okay. Mm-hmm. You know, and, and then that factors into all these other layers of, you know, solidifying these habits, you know, yeah. like, you know, just holistic wise, like all right. the other things we need to work on to keep these habits going. Mm-hmm. So it's, it can be real hard and real expensive to buy your health back. Yeah. Very hard. And so it's so like, true. choose what you want to invest in, mm-hmm. you know, yes. and, and so, you know, and, and the resources and don't let, don't let time and, and, but be a factor, but, you know, utilize the resources because you're so right. And it, it's so cool that you kind of break, break through those things and break down. I mean, I have some athletes that I've been working with on this side too, because uh, some of them are told, you know, they have to make such a weight, you know, mm-hmm. and a lot of them being football players, it's like this, but you know, they, they, get so, you know, the way sports are nowadays, it's like they do, they have these categories. Mm-hmm. And I had uh, this one athlete tell me, he's like, I- I'm just, I'm putting chocolate syrup in my, in my shakes in the morning, you know, whatever I can find. I'm eating Skittles and like M&Ms and Reese's. Yeah. Pe- and he I'm doesn't like, know what to do. Uh, he's like, I'm just trying to put on, they want me to put on weight. I'm putting on weight. And right. I was and and you know, yes, they have so much expenditure and they have so much, you know, working out and the things they do. Mm-hmm. Like, but at the same time, it's like, we got to use worthful calories not empty right. calories like there's a way to go about this yeah um so mm-hmm. it's like you know I, I see it kind of firsthand a little bit through your lens sure. of like, holy cow like we got to do this a little differently or how can i help right. you what do you need to know right. right well and those athletes can do it the other way too i mean my high one of my high school boyfriend was a wrestler mm-hmm. so he taught he oh taught me yes how to cut weight yeah, yeah. You know, Counting and the six I, almonds. Yes, and I <laughs> and I hung on to that for, you know, five, six, seven years. Yes. Right. And and I kind of glazed over that, but that's how I one of the first steps to be able to heal out of my, you know, binging, restricting yeah. kind of cycle was right after I was married. And I just knew, um, it just makes me emotional, but mm-hmm. that God was going to give me girls. I yeah. just knew I was going to get girls. Yes. Yes. And that I, love that. I wasn't, I wasn't going to mess them up. No. <laughs> I knew that I needed to work on myself. I yeah. knew that I had to change the way that I, just the way I approached everything in terms of food. I threw away like Every, this was before smartphones. I threw away yeah. all my calorie counting books and tracking books and diet books. I mean, I just got rid of it all, mm-hmm. which was just such a relief mm-hmm. and just started focusing on long-term health and, and taking care you. of myself. Yeah, so, and I do have two girls. So, yeah. you know, and, <laughs> I just, and they're a blessing because it was such a push to get myself to the next level of you know, what an long term health. Though, yeah, yep. I try. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I try. Motherhood is challenging, but like, you sure. know, God, God has a plan. Yeah, Make your own sure. plan; He'll laugh at you. Right. But it's yeah. like, what a what a gift that is for them already. For yeah, you going through that, and that, mm-hmm. I'm sure that time wasn't necessarily the most fun. But how looking back now, hindsight's twenty twenty, right? Right. And it's like, what a gift that they're getting in you, and that it's a it's a ripple effect. And I talk about this all the time in the practice or when I speak uh, on other stages and things like that. It's like if we can just make a ripple, mm-hmm. and that ripple effect, you know, starting in your own home and having that tie, it's super cool because they're gonna eventually, you know, they're going to be asking somebody else the question and they're going to say tell me more right you know and that's super cool that you've been able to already instill some of that yeah and they're and they continue to be my why they're my reason for getting my butt up at the crack of dawn to work out and they're my reason for taking extra time to make a healthy lunch I mean Mm -hmm. because it all kind of falls starts falling apart (laughs) when I'm not taking care of myself you know it starts falling apart so it's important to invest in yourself now like you said pay for it now pay for it later you know it's what's your choice you know so well and speaking on motherhood I know personally from postpartum is massive too as far as mindset and mind games yes it's like hard you one kid you I, I have three we have three kiddos <laughs> so like one kid you lose the weight right away the mm-hmm. other one it takes a hot bit longer you, like 
the third was definitely the hardest for me as far as losing weight and it was a mind game yeah Mm -hmm. and like so on like that aspect too having you for some of our postpartum women I do work with yeah yeah would be massive as well because it's it's a struggle postpartum is a struggle in general if you don't have the right people around you Mm -hmm. and then add nutrition on top of it to get yourself back to the weight that you oh, were yeah. when you were before baby. The media, yes, like the media exactly. says you right. should be. Yeah. Like two weeks later, you should be fitting in those jeans. Right. Like, that's not the case. Right. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So I, yeah, I, I do work with, um, you know, pregnant women, postpartum, mm-hmm. you know, for the nutrition support, just also the other support, mm-hmm. you know, the yeah. mindset coaching, you know, just... If I say, gosh, it is so hard, <laughs> they'll say, it is so hard. <laughs> yes. You know, it's like they just need somebody to validate that for mm-hmm. them, you know? I mean, that's half of my job, just right. validating the challenge of just taking care of yourself because it does get easier, mm-hmm. but it's a never ending job. Yes. It never ends. You just keep, you get up the next day. What's the healthy food I'm gonna do to mm-hmm. eat today? How can I move my body today? How right. can I take care of myself today? So, it's never ending. So just validating that for people and just pushing them and motivating them, encouraging. I mean, that's my whole thing. There's never negativity. I'm yes. always happy. That's with good. I, I am not a Jillian Michaels. It's not like hardcore. Like I am really positive with it. So I love that. That's my, that's Validation my... is key when it comes to that stuff because it is a mind game. And that's yeah. why I love everything about mindset nutrition. It's so cool. Yeah. yeah thanks. There's uh, so let me ask you this: If there might be people listening to this that are in the know that it's like I got to make a change, mm-hmm. so let's flip this and inspire some people that if you're worried about this, if you're telling yourself this, if you're using this as a crutch, let's have a conversation. Mm-hmm. Um, what what are some of those key things you would tell people? Say you're up on a stage in front of millions right now and you're like, if you know of anybody who wants to make a change, mm-hmm. they don't know where to go, and you're hearing things like this, 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 and this, like these are the keys to listen for. What mm-hmm. would some of those be? So kind of going back to what I said earlier, like, I'm starting over on Monday, Mm -hmm. you know, um, having a food funeral every Mm -hmm. weekend, you know, so just (laughs) packing it all in, overeating just to start over the next day. Mm -hmm. Just that, that like on and off good or bad mentality, you know, Mm -hmm. if I can't do it perfect, chicken and broccoli at every meal, then there's no point in doing it. Mm -hmm. That, that kind of talk, you know, um, is just diet thinking, you know, and it, yeah. it, that, that would be kind of the thing that I would say. Also, there's a lot of, um, like reward mentality that I work on with clients. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I got the kids to bed, I survived the day, mm-hmm. I'm going to come downstairs and just eat all evening, you know, yeah. like where's my sticker or my gold star, like where's right. my treat, you yeah. know? And so mm-hmm. that's a really big that's struggle. Good. Even people driving home from work, I stop at quick trip. I mean, I probably hear about quick trip <laughs> Five to seven so times. Grab a <laughs> couple of taquitos. Yeah, quick trip and crumble cookie, which is well, really close no by. Yes. Barbecue. Yeah, Whoops. I mean it's right, and and the mm-hmm. clients that I work with really get wrapped up in that, like they yes. indulge in that, which that's how I was as a kid. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, where do you want to go on your birthday, Erin? The buffet. I mean, mm-hmm. I was just so no. like food was everything, and that's mm-hmm. where my clients live. And we have to just kind of like take the air out of the balloon. Like, yes, it's important, Mm -hmm. but living your life Mm -hmm. is more important. Like that's your happiness, your joy, Mm -hmm. not what's on your plate. Like that isn't everything, you know? And so, you know, if, if, if people are listening and they're like, oh gosh, I, I do that. You know, I eat all evening or, um, you know, I just binge all weekend I'm you know the, in the weekend like weight gainers club and yeah. I start over on Monday you know that would be the type of person that we really just have to interrupt that negative habit loop mm-hmm. we have to you know fi- figure out where where did where did this like crappy conditioning come from right. you know start building up your self-esteem because it's a confidence thing sure. you know you don't trust yourself. You don't trust mm-hmm. yourself around food. Yeah. Um, and then we have to learn how to do it different. Yeah. You know? Uh, that's the trust word. That's like perfect because that's what I was going to kind of lead into. And because I see it, you know, in, in the chiropractic space as well, in, in healthcare itself, it's, mm-hmm. it's a lot of people know. 
They sure. know they have a problem. Right. And they, they, it's not that they don't want to fix it. It's that they don't know who to trust. You know, True. because, well, we all know how media is going, and you already alluded to this, uh, but we all know what media is saying and doing and portraying us. You know, right. when it's like Victoria's Secret super skinny, and now it's mm. Victoria's Secret both sides of the spectrum, and dancers this, and it's like, holy cow, what do I, mm -hmm. how am I supposed to look and feel? Um, you know, McDonald's this, and all these convenience things, and oh, we've got better beef, and it's just like, <laughs> where do I go? Who do I trust anymore? And, you know, they might not even know people like you are available. But I really think that's, in, even in healthcare, it's like, oh my gosh, especially after the past couple of years we've had, it's like, who do we trust when it comes to health in general? Whether right. it's healthcare or nutritional healthcare, mm -hmm. it's like, who do we trust? And that's the biggest thing I want people to know is it's like, there are resources. Mm -hmm. I know some of you are listening in California. Some of you are, are listening in Indiana. Yeah. Like there's there's resources. Erin um, might even have colleagues around the country that she can connect you with. I don't know. I but do virtual too. Yeah. And there you go. See? So I have lots of people I've never even met in person. Yeah. So, and yeah. so that, that trust factor is good too. And so just know, like if you know, a lot of people do know, it's like, man, I want to make a change. And if you're, your next statement is, I just don't know where to go or who to trust, figure that out. Find it because it's mm -hmm. out there no matter what it is. We're talking nutrition today, but I don't care what it is. You know, right. Yeah, there's always somebody out there that it's like literally their life's passion to yeah. learn about this, you know? And people say to me all the time, I just don't have time to figure this out. And I said, right. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm I here did that for. for like, I spend my life. Let, let me figure it out. Right. You yeah. know, if you have a quick question, you're struggling, don't spend hours Googling, like text me and I will um, answer it for right. you. So I do, I do provide my number. I'm really supportive. It, a health journey is so much work, you know, yeah. in, in a good way, but you know, you just need a lot of support. So I really fully support my people and yeah. invest my, myself into them. And I like that. Yeah, so I just want them to know that I'm there for them, mm -hmm. you know, and I've been there, you know, I, I know exactly what they're going through and what they're struggling with. Yeah. And they tell me all the time, you know, are you reading my mind? Are you following me around? You know, I'm like, no, I just understand. It's, what's, oh, sorry okay. for interrupting you, but what's kind of really cool to me and what I keep hearing is the, the, ish, the instance of you're able to actually get on their level because mm -hmm. you've been there. And that's right. huge for something like this because, you know, there are people that just do it as a job as far right. as, like, mindset coaching and also nutritional coaching. And yeah. they the do calorie it as a job count. and they and don't understand the mind game behind it because they haven't been there. Right. Because they haven't had yeah. to struggle with that. So, like, you being able to level with people on it is massive. And I can see why you're not only successful, but you are – such a kind human being and want to Thank you. Help. Yeah, I don't do it just because I think food is cool. Like, yeah. I've mm -hmm. cried in the dressing room. I've had yeah. years of disordered eating. I've, you know, I mean, I've literally done it all except for um, weight loss surgery. It's the only, but yeah. I've, I work with those people too you. who really want to work on their mindset, right. even though they had the surgery. I've worked with many um, who just want to get their mind right because you don't get that support when you have a surgery. No, and so, you still see the person in the mirror before the surgery. Right, exactly. So, so yeah, I cry with them. We spin <laughs> around in circles. We <laughs> hug. I mean, they're, they're, my clients are the best people in the world. So yeah, I'm fine. so blessed. You've said journey a couple times. We say this a lot in the office. Mm -hmm. Health is a journey, not a destination. Absolutely. Yes. So uh, how do we get a hold of you? Where can we find you? Okay. Where are you at? Yeah, so my website is Mindset Nutrition STL, like St. Louis.com. Okay. And that's my Instagram handle too, Mindset Nutrition STL. Um, I'm really big on Instagram because of being so visual. I just can't get down with TikTok that much yeah. yet. <laughs> um, but I love, I, I was graphic design before art teacher, so I just love designing it. Um, so I post daily, sometimes multiple times a day, but you can go to my website if you want to book um, a mini session. You sure. can just mm -hmm. book right on the website and Fabulous. do that virtual. And um, But I'm local in St. Peter's area for, 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 for this the locals. place. Yeah, for, this <laughs> place, for these locals. But, um, but yeah, and I'm accepting new clients and it always seems to work out because, as I said, I phase my people out. So mm -hmm. there's always room for more to
Well, thank you so much for being here. Yes. Thank Hope you. Hope everybody has enjoyed. Um, maybe a part two, I think, will be on the horizon. <laughs> yeah, that would be great. I'm super grateful you were here. I hope you yourself enjoyed. I did. Uh, Aaron Darling, everybody, Mindset Nutrition. Have a great day. Thanks.